Hello, and I've just discovered something really simple, but really fun. So I'm going to show you what I did and I'm just going to record it. So I remember how I did it. Um, I'm putting myself live into Unreal and uh, it's really fun. So hello. Hi. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, that's just crazy. So this is a, an asset that I bought off the marketplace and um, I'm just I basically just put a screen in there, put myself on it. Um, and then I'm going to show you how I did that. And here we go. OK, so uh, I'm just piloting it with the uh, with the controller here. So uh, what fun. So um, I'm just going to make a subdirectory in here uh, just so, um, so I don't clutter what I've just done. So the first thing you have to do is um, make a media texture. That was it. Uh, so uh, right mouse button and then go to media and then a media player, sorry. So the first thing to do is make a media player. And then it says, do you want to make a me media texture with it? And you say, yep, okay. Okay, so now I've made a media player here. Double click on that. And that opens this little window here. And then it, it's looking for a signal. Normally what I'll do is I'll use an image sequence. But in this case, I can actually just use this little button up here. So there's a little folder. And you open that and you go to video and it's seeing USB video. So, whoa, hello. So it's now taking that feed and making that into a media player, which I then have to put onto a media texture, which I then have to put onto a material. But, um, yeah, uh, the important thing is to leave this window open. So I'm just going to push it onto my other screen like that. And I am also, that. so that's step one. So the next thing is to go into, well, I've got a media texture and this is, if I open that up, it looks like this. Hello, it's me again. Um, but I'm going to leave that open, put it over there. And so I'm going to create a very simple material. So right mouse button, material, material. There we are. And double click on material. And I'm just using a very, very standard. Let's put me over there. Hello. Uh, very standard, whatever the default material is. And I'm going to grab this media texture and just drag it into the material area. And then I'm going to feed the output of this onto the emissive. Um, I, I could put it onto the base as well. Actually, the base, it'll it'll add this, whatever that color is. So I'm just going to make that black. There we go. OK, and then we save this texture. So I just hit save. And now that's saved. Close that window up. And now I can add, oh, why is my window gone all small? Let me um, open up my media player where it is media player then put that back onto the video just so you can see it and that should update into here now maybe all right whatever <laughs> oh it's because i've got two now and that was my old one so i'm going to make a new one over here so i'm just going to go and add a uh, shape and add a plane there we are there's my plane pull that over here rotate it into divisibles and then drag that material onto this object oh there we are i'm, I'm upside down ah! right um so i'm just going to rotate that round and uh one little trick again just to get the right scale is to change the um the scale to 1920 by 1080 because that's the video resolution but instead of 1920 i'm going to go 1.92 to 10.08 and so that's the correct aspect ratio now and i'm just going to just hide that one uh yeah delete oh look oh, ah, oh i know <laughs> i'm going all out of focus and it was because my camera was actually looking at that object so i'm just going to do Control z and undo that one so my camera wherever you are um was it that one i think it's that one and then let's go to focus settings. Oh, it's not. Which one is it? Cinecamera Actor 4. I think that's the right one. Um, yep. So I will change the focus and settings onto this plane. But that's basically it. Um, so that was pretty simple. And now I'm live inside of the uh, the world. And I can uh, say hello and, and create my own giant, massive... Um, what's the world? Uh, <laughs> Uh, Lair, like a James Bond villain. Well, I've got the right hair for it. 
So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Play in my James Bond villain. I'm going to press F11 to come into here. And, uh, hello. So, um, yeah, well, fun. All right. And then um, I'm going to try and investigate now how to use a Kia inside of the material. So then you can uh, key out, I'll make a little blue screen or something and key this out and uh, have a little play. Um, but the nice thing is you're actually embedded in 3D space and you're in here. And if I was doing this properly, what I would do is I would record the video and then put it onto this media plate. Um, but in this case, it's been really fun just doing it all live in sort of virtual production style. So, um, all right, I will see if I'm going to update it. There might be a wibbly, 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 or I might just give up. But for now, um, thanks very much. All right, bye. Hi, so I had a little play and I found out how to do the chroma key here, thanks to Winbush. Thank you. And um, so I will show you how we got me inside of here with a transparent background. Ooh. Now, um, normally I would record this on its own and then uh, do a key in uh, DaVinci Resolve or Fusion or um, Nuke or something like that. And then I get a really nice uh, extraction and then bring that in as a media texture. However, it, this is kind of really fun just for fun's sake. I know uh, I'm doing something for fun. Yay. Um, there are obviously some issues and things like that. I mean, not, not getting the whoops. The world's best edge. Uh. So, um, yeah, so that, you know, I mean, look at those those edges around there like that. And you get some green spill and stuff like that. But, um, you know, for fun, it's uh, it's really good. Oh, that's another thing you get as well is uh, because I'm in 3D space, there's a thing with transparencies where it's uh, the material has to be has to calculate its blurs before depth of field or after depth of field. So your material, you kind of have to choose which way you want to go. But since I'm going to be doing uh, a composite of all these shots later, it doesn't really matter at this point. So anyway, for fun. So um, I will show you what I did. So um, I, I got my little plane that I had before, and then I, I've just put a, a little chair behind there. And uh, here I am, uh, very, very skinny. And then, uh, yeah, let's come back. And if this was a, a, a proper production, you would uh, probably get some sort of 3D tracking software uh, with the camera and have it linked somehow. Um, but uh, for this purposes, I'm not, <laughs> I mean, it's just, I'm just playing. All right, okay, so uh, first things first, let me come out of here, press F11 to get back to full, non full screen. So we had the material uh, before, this was the material that we had, except I've made some little adjustments and the main adjustment, is uh, changing the actual material and change it from a uh, mask. No, it's actually opaque. It's like the default material. So if I just hit apply now, this is how it was before. And you'll see the, the green screen behind me, except it's not green. Um, and then I changed that to uh, the blend mode to translucent. Okay, marvelous. And then the next thing was adding the MF chroma key, thanks to Winbush who pointed did a little video on that, so I, I stole that and it was like, oh wow, that's brilliant. I've not heard of that one. So this, once you plug it in, so you take the RGB into the input color and then you put the emissive into the emissive color, the opacity into the opacity and the base into the base. And then you save that, so you apply that and then you make a material instance. And the material instance, I'm just gonna open up the media player so that I will keep playing the video let's hello look ah, the illusion's broken All right there we go that there i am lucky us um so i what you do is you select the material and then you right mouse button and then you create a material instance and then with that instance it's got all of these options uh for like the the kia <laughs> look at that uh, and as i move around it'll it'll update um, you can change that down here to like a plane or something like that. So now you can just see it as a as a plane. Um, so in here, so you've got like your chroma key color. So if you click on your key color and then you change that value there, you can kind of find the perfect color to do your extraction. So then you kind of like you pull those around and then you say, OK, and then you change your your min and your your max and then you can kind of clip that in a little bit you might start losing some detail and i think you can pull that down a bit 
So there's those. And then down here, there's a color corrector. So you turn on the color corrector and then you make that fall. And then that allows you to go into the color correct here and you can change your your gain or your you know the gain the gain gamma and lift of each uh rgb value so then you get that how you want and then you say just you save that and then you then you're done so and then what i did was you drag that material onto your object but my object is probably covered in steam at the moment so let me just zoom forward in here so i'm just going to drag this that was my the one that i was just had and then let me open up this because it's it forgets you have to have this window open so otherwise it doesn't i give you the live view so that was just double clicking on the media player and there we go and and that's it so uh, uh more fun and hilarity will continue um so there we go all right more fun all right bye